right, another segment in the cash car with some Youngstown royalty in the back, Lauren. This is a big deal, I know, Michael. I know. You, I was, you know what, Jim, you and I are friends, so I'm going to say this. Len, I'm a big fan, and I was a little nervous when I saw you today. I was like, God, it's really him, like the voice, the everything. It's all Channel new- 21 alumni right it's- in here. Everyone has had some time there at the, at the Peacock. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, that's introduce right. yourselves, you guys. Uh, Len Rome, uh, boys and girls from uh, Daybreak in the morning, Channel 33. That's okay. right. And Jim Lowboy, Jim Lowboy, WYTV, Channel 33, Daybreak, meteorologist. That's right. But you guys are in the cash car, the Sweeney cash car, right. for a really good reason for an upcoming show that's pretty exciting, I think. Yeah, I tell them what you guys are doing in February. Well, it is Neil Simon's The Odd Couple, and Len and I, we did The Odd Couple back in 2012, I believe. 20th, September 2012. And Uh we did it uh, at the uh, Hopewell Theater, which only seats about 150 people tops, and we sold out every show, and there were so many people that said, I wasn't able to get tickets, and Ken Adaris came to us uh, about uh, six months ago, and he said, I'm renovating the Robbins Theater in Warren, Ohio. Would you guys like to do yeah. The Odd Couple? And we said absolutely not. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> and how much does that hold? That holds about 1,400 souls. So we got to sell it out, right? Yes, so, sir. Yeah, and uh, it's coming up uh, the weekend after the Super Bowl. We didn't want to be anywhere around the Super Bowl, so it's the weekend after the Super Bowl, the 7th, 8th, 9th. It's an evening Friday, evening Saturday, and a matinee on Sunday, and tickets are going very fast. We decided we wanted to do it one more time because there were so many people that missed it the first time around, so we wanted to give another opportunity, and we wanted to team up with a great cause, right, Len? That's right, with the uh, Trumbull Mobile Meals. Remember, that's the weekend of the great big uh, February snowstorm. No, uh, he keeps on saying we're going to have a snowstorm no, that weekend. Won't. No, it's going to be sorry. sunny <laughs> and 40 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, that's, that's, right. Right. that's, that's right. right. Absolutely. So it's so much fun. It is a big undertaking to do this play, though, because Len plays um, Felix Unger, Felix who Unger. is, of right. course, uh, he's typecast because yes. uh, Len is uh, very high strung. Very that's high right. strung. He wants everything in its place. That's right. And I'm playing the Laser. character of mm-hmm. Oscar Madison. Who's the biggest slob in the world. Right. The biggest slob in the world. And we literally have to learn a short book. Absolutely. Because we're in every scene just about. Irresponsible. And tons and of lines. Unreliable. Like He's always going through his lines when we're doing the show. We're doing the news and he'll go to us. He'll we'll be in, we'll just get done doing a news story. We'll, he'll pitch to the commercial break and then he'll start going into uh, Felix Unger lines. <laughs> Can you imagine if you and I, I had to do that? No way. No way. How much way. of this uh, characterization is like real life for you guys? Well, like I said, Len is Len is Felix Unger. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I have a little bit more Felix Unger in me. You have a little more cool than Oscar than Madison, Oscar. Yeah. right? Like I couldn't live in a house that had newspapers strewn around all over and cigar <laughs> ashes all over the place and things like that. But uh, it, it, it works on so many levels. We we joked about maybe flipping it and him being Oscar this time and me being couldn't do Felix. Couldn't it. Doesn't make sense. But no, it doesn't, doesn't make, make sense. No, it doesn't, make sense. No, it doesn't carry as well. All right, you ready for the cash car? Sure, we, we are. are. so ready. What is the category, first of all, Mike? The, first of all, the cash car itself, I am... It's uh, a it, Chevy it, Blazer. It's, it's got this heated steering wheel. It is a gift. It's got heated seats. It's got a climate control. It's got a push-button glove box. And it's got a c- bunch of cameras in the back to alert you if anybody's getting a little bit too close. Which I need. Yeah all of the alerts I can possibly get. Thank you, Sweeney. Very this nice is... cup holders back here as well. Really? Oh, good. Yeah, I gotta love the cool. cup holders. giving you drinks. We didn't even think of it. That's it. All right, so I hold in my hand six questions. Your okay. job is to, is to answer five. They're 50 bucks a pop. You get one pass if you want it. Okay. Use it wisely because if you miss one, you don't get that $50. We'll add up the money and see how much you make for Trouble Momo Meals at the end. Does that okay. sound good? Here we Sounds go. Great. All right, our category today is sitcoms. Ah, uh, sitcoms. sitcoms. Oh, awesome. okay. Yes. Like good job, Michael. I like that. All right, here we go. Question one. And feel free to collaborate. Look at this turning radius. That is great turning radius. Oh, yeah, talk. Lauren, right. you are go doing ahead. a wonderful I know, job. Right? I think it's the heated steering wheel. It's so nice. Are you All ready? Right. All right. This bar psychiatrist in Cheers moved to Seattle for a spinoff and became a radio show host. Who was it? That would be, um, num, num, num. Fraser Crane. Or do you want the character who played Fraser Crane? No, give me the character. The character itself. is Fraser Crane. <laughs> played by who? For bonus points. Uh, Fraser Crane played by, oh goodness. Yes, I can see him. Oh, I know. Yes, there yeah, he is. He has that voice. Fraser Crane. Man. Kelsey Graham. Um, Kelsey Graham. Kelsey, Kelsey Graham. All right, 50 bucks in your pocket. Nice okay, job. Yes. All right, here we go. Question two. On Friends, 
Ross, Joey, and Chandler were played by three men. Name any of their real names. Uh, Matt LeBlanc. So good. That's correct. Do you know the other one? I'll be there for you when David the rain Schwimmer starts and, uh, to fall. David Schwimmer. There we go. Matthew Perry. Good. Okay. And then Matthew Perry played uh, is the uh, in the Odd Couple, the reboot they right. did on CBS that didn't last Which very long. Stop. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Hundred dollars. You still have good. your pass if you okay, want. Okay. Here we go. Good. This was Seinfeld's neighbor across the hall. Oh, come on. Are you going to throw softballs at us yes. all day here? Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> we might as well just sign the check over Why to uh, Trumbull Mobile Meals because we're going to win all these. That is so easy. All right, just say it. That is, he founded his own company, Cramerica. It is Kramer. That's correct. You knew that, right, Mike? No. Okay. See, they're not that easy. He's so honest. All right, you ready? Ask me about the mini loves of Dobie Gillis. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Len knows all the 50 and 60 well, seconds. Actually, that, and 60s, that yeah. character may come up in a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right, this is a little tougher. This show about a working class mom in the Connor family hit number one in 1989 and then number three in 2018. What's the name be, of the show? Um, uh, Roseanne? Yep, Roseanne. Good for you. That was a, look at, look that was a, that was a good one. I thought that was a tough one. Really? All right, how much really? is that? She's I, I'm sorry. They've I think, gotten four. Well, if I know it and Lund knows it, then obviously it's pretty easy, right? How about, here's a question. <laughs> All right. Flo, who uh, played in the sitcom Alice, Alice mm -hmm. what was her catchphrase? Kiss my grits. Kiss my, Kiss my grits. grits. Yeah. There you go, Mike Case. All right. All right, are you ready? Okay. All right, we have... Uh, this is number four. We have two left. You have four in the bank, you have one to go, okay. and you still have a pass. The longest running American sitcom is animated. It started in 1989, and it's still on today. What is it? The Simpsons. Very good one. Dun, 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 Do you want your dun, dun, sixth dun. question just for fun since you already made 250 bucks? Yes! All right. <laughs> After his role in All in the and Family. And you're gonna throw in 50 bucks of your own money, I right? might. <laughs> this character was moving on up and got his own show. Who was it? Ah. Uh, he was in All in the Family. And yes. On up. And he was, was a uh, he was a dry cleaner. The east side. He owned dry cleaning uh, facilities, and his name was uh, Sherman Hemsley. Right. And Sherman the, Hemsley they, was the actor's and name. And his name was George Jefferson. Right. The Jefferson. Good for you. Was the name it's of the show. Fun. Ride. How can we get tickets to the show, guys? It's so easy to get tickets for the show, and please don't wait to the last minute. This makes also for a great night out for Valentine's Day, which is very close to our show dates, mm -hmm. 7th, 8th, and 9th of February. You can get it at robinstheater.com, and you could also call the box office and get bunches of tickets, get your office together, get a whole crew going out there and have lots of fun at the Robins Theater for The Odd Couple. Or you can just visit the box office on East Market Street. Yep. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Nice job, you guys. Da -da. Where are we headed? Back I don't to know. The dealership. We're going to this place called Sweeney. Thank you, Sweeney. Do you guys <laughs> always have to whisper it when you say it? Sweeney. Sweeney. It's located on Market Street in Boardman. On Market Street. Look at this turning radius. In Boardman. Good job, guys. Thank you. Wow.